Hello YouTube, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to us, please subscribe. This will help us bring more content and uh, we want to hear your contents as well down below. So in today's video, um, I have all these devices in front of me. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick review of the Ajax Systems alarm keypad. Okay, I have two different versions in front of me. The basic version is the standard keypad. Okay, so this is uh, the entry level keypad uh, from Ajax Systems. Oh, <laughs> I'm upside down. So yeah, so basically this is the entry level. You can obviously arm and disarm from this keypad. You know, there's different options available. We'll look at this soon, okay? And this is the one I personally prefer uh, the most, the one with the built-in, um, you know, Desfire card reader, okay? So using the card reader, you can arm and disarm the keypad with or uh, without having to press a button, okay? I'll show you the different options about this one as well, okay? So in order to test this, um, definitely what you need is at least one hub, okay? Because this is the brain of your Ajax systems and the wireless alarm system. So I need one hub registered to my mobile app, okay? And I will need the keypad. Now, if I want to show you how to arm and disarm the system with the proximity tag or card, I will need one of these. So we have these, you know, uh, regular size um, printable cards here. Okay, actually, I'm sorry, they're not printable. Um, it's a regular size card here, like the size of a credit card. And this is this Fire EV3. This is the tag, the Ajax tag. Uh, we have this, the card as well, we have these in black and white. Okay, so for this exercise, I'm going to use the tag. All right, so let's start the mobile app. So let's open Ajax. Then go to devices. Select add device. We will need to open, just flip it down the back plate like this. Um, yep, like this, you know, it's easier like that. So now this will expose the power button and the QR code, okay? So from the app, I need to give the device a name. So you keypad. Plus, tap on the QR code icon, make a nice pick of the QR code to add the device ID for you. Select add device, press power. That's it, as easy as that. It's already connected to my application and to the hub. Okay, so now we've added the keypad to the system. So let's have a look at the different options that we have because if you want to use the card reader, you need to enable it, all right? And also, you will have an option to define if you want to be able to toggle the system armed and disarmed state with just the tag or with the code or with the tag plus the arm or disarm button. So there's like a, a faster way to arm and disarm, you know, by using, um, you know, the, the tag like this. So I want to go to the keypad settings. Uh, remember, we can only enter in programming mode if the system is disarmed tap on the settings option. So what you want to do, if you want to use the uh, card reader, you go to um, the bottom here, so pass tag reading, okay? And by the way, when you turn this on, you will then be able to add tags and cards and link them to users. Before you enable this option, you won't even see, you know, the option to add tags, okay? So I want to enable this option, all right? And then you have the message telling you exactly what I just said. Right, that you need, now you can, you know, add tags to the system. So, um, and if you want to be able to toggle the change, uh, the, sorry, change uh, or toggle the status of the alarm system easily without pressing buttons with the tag, you need to enable this option, easy arm mode change, okay? So I want to enable this, all right? So if we go back, we can see that the keypad is online, has good signal strength, that the, you know, the lid is closed, which is very important. All right, so back to the devices page. If you want to add a tag, you click on add device and then add pass or tag. Here, you select what you want to use. In this case, I'm using a, a black key tag from Ajax, okay? So the user's name will be Fred. I can go next, okay? Now, 
you need to wake up the keypad by pressing the um, the button here. Actually, let me just try to help you. So you press this button, okay? Then you press the disarm button, and then you batch the card or the tag. Okay. And then tag, all right? So you wake up the keypad with this button, you press the disarm button here, then it's gonna ask you to present the tag in front of the card reader at the top, okay? And then the tag is successfully added. You can hit done if you're done adding tags, or you can hit the add another pass or tag button to add more in a sequence like this, okay? So I select done. Now you see in the list of devices, I now have one tag. What you want to do is to um, then select the new tag, which is by default set as a guest user, but now I want to link it to my account so the tag will have the same rights as me, for instance, to arm and disarm the system. So I go under devices here, and under user, I will select myself, and then back to save, back to save again. Okay, so from now on, now my system is currently disarmed. If I go back, I can now wake up the keypad like this, and it's going to change the status of the system by a simple presentation of the tag. So now my system is armed, present again, it's disarmed. Okay, so whether in, in, in whatever states it is, it is in, sorry, it, it will basically toggle the states of the, uh, of the alarm system. Okay, so in a nutshell, this was how you can actually enable the um, keypad plus keypad and then start adding cards to, to the system. I want to show you how you can use the keypad to arm and disarm the system with an alarm code. So this is valid for both the regular Ajax keypad and like the device I have in front of me, the Ajax keypad plus. Okay. Before you can use a code to arm and disarm the system, you must create a code in the user property. So let's have a look at the application and how it's done. Now, remember, if you want to add and delete your user code, you have to use your Ajax user application, not the pro application, okay? So, in the app, I go to the um, hub properties, I go to users, select the user you want to modify, go to passcode settings, all right? Um, and from there at the bottom, you click on the pen, enter a very complicated um, pin, say one, two, three, four. And then you see here, you also have the instructions. So very easy for the end user to understand what needs to be done. So it's the user code, star, your pin, and then the command you want to send to the system, whether if it's a disarm command or arm command. Okay, so let's have a try. So I'm gonna save this. If I wake up the keypad, I'm gonna enter two, which is my user ID, star, one, two, three, four, which is my code, and then arm. System is now up. If I want to disarm the system, I will do the same. ID two, star, one, two, three, four as the password, and the disarm key. System is now disarmed. Um, if you have any questions on where to purchase this product, and then, uh, or, or maybe you have some help from our sales team to make some quotes and help you design some system, you know, applications for your clients, visit the Nexus.com website and contact the sales team. Somebody from our team will contact you shortly. If you have any technical questions or comments, please send them below and I will be more than happy to help you. Again, it's Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching.